Thoughtabalker. A true inspiration, a true hero. Why we chose Sarah Bakker? We chose Sarah Bakker because she personally inspired us and she also inspired many people by helping them and proving that if you really set your mind to something, there would be infinite possibilities. We also chose Sarah Bakker because we saw her many times in newspapers or on television. She's always credited and known for helping autistic people. Sarah once said, I would rather help people because I want to rather than to help people for publicity. Sarah is truly inspiring and we love her. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, so we're going to now do an interview of you and we're going to ask you questions about how are you a hero okay. and what's a hero. So can you please tell us about yourself? Um, my name is Sarah. Uh, I have four adult kids and I work as a full-time volunteer at the Dubai Autism Center and I am an executive committee member at the Emirates Environmental Group. So what is a hero in your opinion? Um, a hero is a person who has achieved something that um, someone has not yet reached. Um, somewhere where uh, it's a new thing in, in, in the region, in the country, in, in the home. Uh, some, something that someone can follow and be proud of uh, to follow in that route. Thank you. So, t tell me who could be a hero? Anyone can be a hero. I think um, any person is born uh, to have talents. It's the person's uh, upbringing, the way they've been uh, brought in which society, uh, who's a leader to them, uh, who has brought them up in a way that uh, they can become creative, they can initiate things, uh, and they have the freedom to do that too, that they're not restricted by family members or by the society not to do what they want to do. Do you think, in your own opinion, are you a hero and, wh and why and how? I don't think I've reached that point of being a hero yet. Um, I'm in that direction. I'm proud of what I do. Uh, I love what I do. Uh, I think it's something that you also have to know that you have to be passionate about the thing that you're doing. It's not, um, uh, you're not doing it to please uh, the society or you're not doing it to, um, um, because somebody told you to do it. Uh, you know, or somebody will be proud of you be, uh, if you were to be a hero. I think it has to come from inside, but I haven't, I don't think I have reached that point of becoming a hero yet. Okay, thank you. Yeah. What inspired you to help people? Um, I've been brought up since I was a little girl uh, to always be kind to others, to always put myself in the other person's shoe. Um, seeing the kindness of my, my parents, my grandparents, my, my family, everybody ahead of me um, just led me to that uh, and the comfort you find in becoming kind is very rewarding. So that's why I did it. Did helping others affect a community or your personal relationship with someone? Um, it affects, uh, yes, it affects myself first. Uh, being nice with others, uh, it gives me that boost to become better in my life to see how I, um, it taught me really patience, it taught me how to listen uh, more than give opinion or be judgmental. Um, it taught others in the family to see uh, how I'm happy in what I do and uh, accepting um, all of the challenges and learning from these things, the whole of the family. Why do you help people? Um, I think we're all born to help each other. Um, we, we weren't born to, for me to be alone in this world. Uh, I'm born with sisters and brothers, with, uh, with cousins and friends and family. And it's always um, in us as human beings that we, we must help each other. If I see a person that's in need on the streets and I, he's a stranger, I am obliged to go and see if, if they need help. So I think we're all born to help each other. 
How do you help people? Um, by listening. I'm, I'm a psychologist, so I use that uh, by listening to families uh, who are in need, who are struggling, who are uh, confused. Uh, we guide them, I guide them also into um, how can they uh, go about with their, with their problem, where to find the best uh, way of treatment, uh, and uh, just being there for them just is, is more than enough for me. Thank you. There's an end.